What's up, everybody? Nick Finzer here. I am the jazz trombone professor at the University of North Texas, if you didn't know. And today we're going through all of the audition requirements for 2022 fall for admission in 2023 fall for all of our degree programs. So that includes undergraduate jazz trombone, under master's jazz trombone, and DMA for jazz trombone. So come with me as I go over to the website website, and we'll talk about all of those requirements uh, for the audition because we do do a pre-screen and so that's going to come up sooner than later so you don't want to miss your chance. So as I transition here, help me, uh, give me a second to pull that up. So if you want to check out all of the audition requirements, all you got to do is go to jazz.unt.edu. And if you see up here at the top, it's just slash jazz trombone audition. You know what I did to get here, though? Because I just Googled it. I just Googled UNT jazz trombone auditions. You can come to this page. Of course, my email is here if you have any questions. Nicholas.finzer at unt.edu. But we are very excited. Uh, to be able to have two uh, uh, in-person audition days and one virtual audition day. Uh, so we'll be able to connect with people from all over the world, whether you can come to campus for your audition or not, which is super awesome. So um, everyone is going to prepare a pre-screening tape. And for that, we are going to uh, do exactly what's written on the page here. So you should uh, be able to uh, play one Bordoni A2, unaccompanied, from the ones through 60. Pick whatever you want. Uh, I want you to play something you're comfortable with, something that you are uh, feel like you sound good on. And then pick from one of these bebop melodies, like Billy's Bounce, Ornithology, Anth Anthropology, or bebop, uh, whatever you feel comfortable on. Again, we want you to sound your best, so make sure you pick something that you like. And then we want to hear one medium up or medium up swing tune from the American Songbook. I mean, something composed by Jerome Kern, Cole Porter, Gershwin. Usually the original would have lyrics. So not like a, like Stable Mates is not that, right? That's not a songbook tune. That's a Benny Golson tune. Uh, one jazz ballad performed at a ballad tempo. And then one tune with a straight eighth note feel. So we can kind of get a sense of everything that you're, that you're up to. So... Uh, record all of those materials. If you are a master's applicant, it's exactly the same, except play confirmation instead of one of the bebop melodies that were listed. And then we would also love to hear if you can and are so inclined one original composition, but do not be afraid because if you don't have an original, you're not going to lose out. You're still going to be considered just as much as anyone else. So for these audition recordings, feel free to do whatever makes sense for you in terms of accompaniment. If that means getting a band and doing a tape, that sounds great, or doing a video, that sounds great. If it means using Jamie Abersol or I Reel, that's great too. Or just get a metronome and play two, put it on two and four, or one and three, whatever you're comfortable with. We want you to sound your best, and we want you to feel free to play the stuff that you like and the stuff that you feel good about. So uh, my, my recommendation is always to find the master list of all the schools you're going to apply to and what are all of the tunes and kind of find which ones can you use across so that you're practicing the most condensed amount of material that hits the most uh, buckets, you know, hits the most schools lists. And that way you can really be effective and efficient with your practice time. And uh, it's uh, probably an effective way to prepare. So um, the pre-screen is what we just talked about. So if you are wanting to submit for a UNT audition, every person's going to do a pre-screen that just goes along with your audition. So when you go into accepted, and you'll find all this if you just go to this page, and you can find the um, the links to all of the uh, UNT accepted and all that stuff, because you got to do two applications, right? You got to do an application for the school UNT, and then you got to do an application for uh, the College of Music, which includes the audition materials that we were just been going over. So after that, uh, for each selection, you should have the melody, two courses of improvisation, and then the melody out for each one. Melody, two courses, melody out. This should be a recording you do specifically for the audition, not just throwing together something randomly out of the blue. So make sure you're following the formatting, and the ballad should not exceed two choruses total. So that means maybe play all the way through the chorus, improvise for half a chorus, go back to the melody, for example. Uh, for video auditions, there should be no other soloists on the recording. Recordings need to not be of professional quality, but should clearly demonstrate the player's abilities. Like I was saying, all the play-along tracks are acceptable. Um, 
and even a metronome is cool. So don't worry about that. For, uh, for the second round, so after we listen to the pre-screens and then we inv we're going to invite people to play uh, on campus or virtual audition, and it's going to be the same materials. So don't stress. Just prepare the same materials plus uh, all 12 major scales and two octaves, a jazz tune in 3-4 time, and a jazz transcription of your choice of that's at least 32 bars, not to exceed 64 bars. It can be just an excerpt from a solo, should be one, by one of the following soloists. And all, again, all of this is on the, the website, but it should be J.J. Johnson, Curtis Fuller, Slide Hampton, Frank Rosalino, or Carl Fontana, whoever you like the best. Students should perform this with or without written music. Unaccompanied, please bring copies for me, the audition panel. Um, just so you know, gr undergraduates have to play a jazz and a classical audition, so you should make sure to consult the undergraduate classical trombone requirements. Now, there's always a lot of questions about this, but yes, you do have to do two auditions, and that's because we want to make sure you have a competency on the trombone as well as with jazz. So you don't have to play different shoes, for example. You can play the same one. But I want to hear it. They want to hear it. Our other great faculty, Tony Baker, Natalie Mannix, and Steve Menard, uh, they want to hear you because we are, are one big studio. It's not jazz trombone and classical trombone. It is trombone. And there are four faculty members and several teaching assistants and teaching fellows. And so it's one big studio, and we get together every week, and we support each other, and it's just pretty awesome. So I'm going to continue now with our last degree requirement who also needs to do a pre-screening and that's the DMA so I'm pulling up the new DMA requirements for trombone and it's very very similar and let me share it with you share screen there we go it's the same sort of things for uh, the pre-screen which is Bordoni confirmation uh, medium or medium of swing from the songbook a jazz ballad a straight eighth note feel and optionally one original composition. Um, and then the only thing that's different really is that the DMA people, they have their own day. Uh, so there's a separate day for DMA final round and that will be on campus, of course. Uh, if it has to be virtual, we can make that work too. Uh, that'll be by appointment. But on the on-campus day, you should bring 10 tunes. Uh, and, uh, all of them should be with lead sheets for the band. Um, could be original, original, at least one original is required, but uh, bring 10 tunes that are gonna showcase you and the style you're playing in that in various styles, and, and that's it. It's pretty straightforward. We wanna hear you sound comfortable and you sound your best. So don't feel like you need to like play the most difficult tunes you've ever heard of in your entire life. Play things that you feel like you sound good on, and um, that you feel like will connect well with an audience, which the audience is, of course, the faculty of the UNT Jazz Studies Division. So I can't wait to hear all of your applications. Um, sometimes a question that comes in is like, how many people are you gonna accept, or what's the number? There's no magic number, but we try to accept a few people every year, and um, what, what I try not to do is take too many people that I don't have the bandwidth to work with all of them. Sometimes uh, there's an idea out there that at UNT you might go and you won't study with the faculty member. And that's not true in my studio. Uh, you will work with me 100%. Um, I teach a class that is for all of the freshmen, jazz trombone majors, and so you'll see me all year, your freshman year. Um, you'll see me your sophomore year, and of course then you'll study with me in your last two years. Uh, you do have to take two years of classical study your first two years, but you're, it's not like you're not going to be doing lots of jazz or seeing me or anything like that. You're just going to be working on your competency on the trombone, making sure that uh, all those skills are together because you got to be able to play the trombone well in order to improvise on the trombone well. And that's my philosophy. And... Um, yeah, so just be prepared for that. I think that's really important, really, really important. So applications open now for the pre-screening, and uh, we will get a listen to those, and you'll hear back from us and get those auditions scheduled, and they're in uh, January and February of 2023. And then decisions go out in March, and, of and then after that, 
uh, we try to try to make sure that you can come and join us at UNT for fall of 2023. So I'm really excited to be able to connect with all of you. If you have any questions, send me an email at my UNT email address, nicholas.finzer at unt.edu. We'll get those answered. So get those pre-screens in so that we can get your audition scheduled as soon as we can. So thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below if you want to see any more detailed videos about this process or if you have any questions uh, that may be applicable to more than just you, which is probably all the questions. So feel free to leave them in the comments if you don't want to send me an email. And uh, we'll catch you on the other side. Good luck on the audition. I can't wait to hear you.